Hello and welcome to this online tutorial. In this video, I aim to help identify and differentiate between Galanthus nivalis, a common snowdrop, and Galanthus elwisii, the greatest snowdrop. These are the two most commonly grown and naturalized snowdrops most likely to be found in the British Isles. Snowdrops are from the Liliaceae or lily family and are native to most of Europe. In Britain they are introduced but could possibly be native to parts of Wales or the West Country. To start identifying snowdrops there are four key points that need to be observed. The colour of the leaves, the width of the leaf, the base of the leaf and the markings on the petals. Technically the snowdrop has tepals rather than petals but for the sake of this video I will refer to them as petals. As we are only dealing with Galanthus nivalis and Elwesii, identification is quite straightforward. The first thing to do is to look at the colour of the leaves. The usual colour is greyish blue green. If you find a snowdrop with bright grass green leaves then it is likely to be Galanthus warinovii, which is far less common. Once the colour has been noted, then the width of the leaf needs to be observed. If it is less than the little fingernail, as a rough guide, then it is Galanthus nivalis. If it is broader, then it's all the rest. Hybrids tend to be intermediate. If we look at the common snowdrop, apart from noting the narrower leaves, we can see that it has only one apical patch, the green V marking on the inner petal's apex or mouth. These marks can vary and can be an indicator of cultivars and hybrids. Two distinctive cultivars are Galanthus magnet with its clear V mark and very long petal cell or flower stalk and the other Galanthus akinzii with its broad U mark and droopy outer petals. However, more common than these is the double flowered snowdrop Floripleno. This is where the stamens have been converted into petal-like structures. This gives the snowdrop the appearance of a Victorian lampshade and makes it quite identifiable from a distance. Going back to the leaf width, if it is broader than the little fingernail, then we need to look at the leaf base. Most species have two leaves from each bowl that are flat and facing each other like hands held together in prayer. This is called applinate. Galanthus nivalis has applinate leaves. If you find a snowdrop that has broad grey-green leaves that are also applinate, then it is likely to be Galanthus placatus, the pleated snowdrop. Galanthus elwesii and its hybrids have an outer leaf that wraps around and embraces the interior leaf. This is called superbulate or convolute. Notice also that elwesii has these hooded tips to its leaves. It kind of reminds me of cobras. Elwisii tends to have an X-shaped marking on its inner petals, but can also have two separate markings. If you find it with a single mark on its apex, then this is characteristic of the variety Monosticus. Hybrids between Galanthus nivalis and Galanthus elwisii, and indeed Galanthus plicatus, are quite frequent and tend to be intermediate in leaf size and shape and in the degree of the wraparound. Many of the garden cultivars are of hybrid origin and are quite difficult, if not impossible, to name with any degree of certainty. But do not let this put you off. Most of what you will find, especially in the wild, will be what we've already covered here. So, to quickly recap, narrow, grey-green leaves like hands held together in prayer is Galanthus nivalis. Wide, grey-green leaves wrapped around each other with these hooded tips is Galanthus elwisii. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful in some way. Thank you.